everybody. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Get Ready. And uh, excited about this episode, bringing to you uh, a friend of mine who I've known for quite a few years now. When she first came to one of my workshops in Cork, I think it was the first time I went to Ireland to do a workshop. Uh, too many years ago to mention. And, <laughs> and is a EFT practitioner with a very interesting twist. And so uh, I'm happy to bring to you my friend, Susan Brown. Susan is the author and creator of Angel EFT, is a life coach and modern energy training, modern energy tapping practitioner, known internationally as YouTube's Angel EFT lady. Susan has been providing tapping videos since 2012 and provides a formula for combining tapping with angel meditations. And maybe we'll be fortunate enough to get one of those uh, later on. Susan runs workshops and courses in person and online and is dedicated to helping clients to overcome blocks. It is then they can step into their true path, living the life of their dreams, which is uh, an awesome thing. And so thanks for being on the show, Susan. Hi, Brad. Thanks for having me on the show. Delighted to be here. Well, it's so great to talk to you again. <laughs> you too. So, so EFT with angels. I, I love this concept. And uh, so how did you first get into this? So um, I discovered the angels or rediscovered the angels in around 2006, where I had a sort of, I would describe it as like a spiritual awakening where I started to really open up spiritually just for no apparent reason and became interested in the angels, you know, which is something I wasn't really before and um, learning about them. And I couldn't get enough of information about the angels, you know, reading about them, attending workshops. And then later I discovered EFT. And what I found was that when I was tapping, it made it even easier to connect with the angelic realm. And I guess that's because we naturally raise our frequency when we're tapping and um, we are easier to communicate with, with the angelic realm when we raise our frequency because <laughs> we're more on their wavelength. It's not that they can't talk to us when we're in the lower vibrations, but we can't always hear them as well. I would imagine it also makes it easier for us because there is a, a part of us that might be resistant to something that uh, might scare us. I, you know, I've, I've often thought it's like we can create miracles, but if we create miracles, then it'll scare us. So we block ourselves from that. So I would imagine that the tapping would also break down our resistance to being open to that kind of communication. That's absolutely true. Yeah, I totally agree with that. <laughs> so true. <laughs> That's always been my favorite part about EFT is how it just it, it breaks down our resistance to our own magnificence. And then also those things that are beyond what feels normal for us. We like to stay in our comfort zone. And for many of us, angelic communication is not entirely in our comfort zone. I guess. Yeah. It just seems so normal to me now. But <laughs> right. Well, exactly. And I, and I, I had numerous friends over the years who likewise feel very comfortable with that. And, uh, and it is like second nature. It's like, well, of course, Many years ago, I spoke with a woman who uh, described my guardian angel to me. She goes, oh, yeah, he's right there. Um, so. And what was that like for you to hear that? Uh, it was interesting. I mean, it was, there was a part of me, it's like, oh, that's very cool. And yeah. uh, I started drawing pictures of what I imagined he might look like. But um, so, yeah, no, it was, it was uh, while I admittedly have not allowed myself or gotten to that level where I am consciously aware of that kind of communication. I mean, I've definitely felt guided and even in my tapping work, I feel very guided, but there's never, I, I haven't personally or consciously been aware of it being a particular guide that I could identify. So it's, while I think I, I'm totally open to that and, uh, and, you know, I know there's something beyond what, beyond myself, because when I'm, because when the really good stuff is coming through me in a tapping round, I know that's not me, so, <laughs> but identifying how that works uh, has not been clear to me. So I'm, I'm really excited about the, the visualization you're going to do for us and, uh, and just hearing more about, you know, how you came to this and, and, and how you use this in your work. 
Well, it's interesting because um, I hope you don't mind, but I was tuning in earlier to see if I could get a sense of your guardian angel. And um, what came through for me is that your guardian angel is immense, you know, this enormous angel that I appeared like a big white light around you. And, um, you know, I'm always interested when I see an angel in my mind's eye like that to get a little bit more information. And what what came through for me was just that you are very highly spiritually evolved. And that's why you have this huge, big light around you. And, um, you know, you're very much on the wavelength of the angelic. <laughs> you might not believe it, but yeah, so it's that you have that lovely angel energy working through you. So it doesn't surprise me a bit to, to see that. Well, I love hearing that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and and you did call me an earth angel in your when you signed your book. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that still stands. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, go on. <laughs> so so I mean, give me an idea of what how you in your in your work or you know describe this for folks and 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 maybe. I, you know, bring it to it. The you have that great graphic behind you about our uh, our energy vibration. So uh... yeah, so I developed the vibrational scale just a couple of years ago after the book came out, actually. And uh, what came to me was this. I know it's a funny shape. It looks a bit like an egg timer because um, I feel that when we're in really bad form, our energy can be kind of big and noisy as well. You know, like when you walk into a room and someone's in really bad mood, it kind of almost bangs into you, doesn't it? <laughs> and then when we're at five, we're kind of in the middle. It's very neutral and we're not really affecting those around us very much. And we're very kind of a little bit shrunken in, but not feeling good or bad. And then when we come up into these higher levels, whether the nice colors are we're affecting other people on a, in a really good way so raising our vibrational frequency is um is wonderful for ourselves you know it has so many benefits on so many levels but it actually really benefits the people around us and if you like the world you know so it's um it's not selfish to do this work you know to bring up our vibration it's it's so beneficial as you know for everybody um, and this is used as, as the other typical EFT or tapping scales. You know, you can rate yourself before you start tapping um, or whatever you're doing, you know, because I don't just do tapping. I do other work as well. And then um, see how things are afterwards. And hopefully after doing some work, it comes up. Um, and I always invite people to ask themselves the question, say if they were at number six now, what's one thing you could do today to bring yourself up to seven? It's just a kind of coaching style question that I use that everybody always knows a solution to that question. They always have an answer. They can think of one thing to bring themselves up. Good question for everyone watching right now, wherever you're at right now, what's one thing you could do to, uh, to bring yourself up one more step and keep that in mind while we're uh, talking about all this stuff. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea to get people to check in that way. And I agree yeah. with you about affecting others. I always say, you know, when people talk about self-love, oh, it's so selfish. It's like, no, 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 no. It's the best thing you can do for the world. <laughs> yeah. Bring your vibration up. Feel as much love as possible. It's especially, not only are we in a much better place to share our gifts and talents and do good in the world, but everything's energy and we're all connected. So naturally, if we're up at a much higher level, that brings up everything else so absolutely yeah everything starts to work better and flow better opportunities arise for us doors are opening and when things aren't going our way we have a much better mindset about it you know we, we look for solutions instead of you know getting in the in the doldrums <laughs> right. <laughs> right and as we calm down our prefrontal cortex is more online so we're able to think more rationally Exactly. <laughs> when we're when we're down in that uh, in the bottom level of that scale, we do not think uh, our best thoughts or have our best ideas. Absolutely. Yeah, that's so true. So, and and in terms of working with angels, you know, one of the things that comes up for a lot of folks, just just thinking about this, in one one of the things that people love to use EFT for is increasing abundance. Mm. But one of the biggest fears or uh, um, blocks for a lot of folks is the idea that that financial abundance is not spiritual. So now yeah. you're bringing in work with the angels, which is as just about as spiritual as you can get. 
<laughs> so are you able to combine those? Like, is it okay? Is it okay to ask angels for money? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it might surprise people to hear that, but absolutely. Your angels or your guardian angels. So I like the belief, it resonates with me, that everybody has a guardian angel that's been with them since before they were born. And you might also have an angelic team with you. So other angels, you might have attracted other angels into your life. And as soon as you start being interested in the angels, that's what happens anyway. You get more angels helping you. And they all want what's for your highest good. And part of your highest good is you having a high vibrational frequency. So if you're really stuck for money and if things are not going well financially, it's a lot more challenging to raise your vibrational frequency because you've got all that stress going on so for that reason um, amongst other things you know your angel wants what's best for you and they want you to be happy you know I mean we we came to earth to undergo challenges it's not supposed to be a smooth ride all the time it's like a school you know coming here we've got lots of lessons to learn so there will be challenges but your angel absolutely wants you to be happy and part of that is is having your financial needs met <laughs> yeah I can see that <laughs> <laughs> Lack makes it very difficult to be in uh, in a peaceful state or a uh, or a, or even a giving and generous state when we're feeling like we don't have enough. Exactly, there's that feeling that I don't, I can't possibly help anyone because I can't even help myself. And um, you know, that's where the poverty consciousness would be lower down in the scale, and the abundance consciousness is you know the ab above five. All right, so. I'm guessing now that folks watching this are like, please, Susan, tell me, how do I ask my angel for money? <laughs> Where's well, that angelic ATM yeah. machine? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very simple. <laughs> you can just ask your angel. You know, you don't have to do anything fancy. Um, if you want to, you can light a candle. You can make a lovely sacred space. Like people like to make an angel altar or an angel table. And it might just be um, a nice tablecloth on a table and a candle and and maybe some little stones that you like or something from nature or a little figurine or you know you can do that but it's it's actually as simple as um being out on the street and saying in your mind angels please help me i need more money <laughs> <laughs> and then letting it go because if we ask them and then half an hour later we say hey angels where's that money you promised um <laughs> we kind of get ourselves into a tizzy and we can bring the vibration down again so it's kind of al allowing that to release once we've asked and trust that um, trust that it's coming but um, I also work with clients in visualization and I run workshops where I've used a lot of angel visualizations, which can really help people to connect with their angels. And especially for certain topics, like I would have done workshops on abundance and how you work with the angels for abundance. So if you want, I can demonstrate um, an angel abundance meditation today. What do you think, folks? Should we? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> no. Yes, please, Susan. <laughs> that okay. sounds awesome. Okay, so this is a 12 chakra meditation working with the angels and archangels. So most people that have heard of the chakras might have just heard of the seven major chakras. But when we come into this higher vibrational, the fifth dimensional state, so human, as humans, we can be in the third, fourth and the fifth. And the third is when we're, you know, in the lower vibration and we're kind of closed and <laughs> we only really see what's in it for us and this kind of thing. And when we're in the fourth, we're kind of rubbing the sleep out of our eyes and waking up a bit. And the fifth is our kind of ultimate, you know, evolved self where we're, we believe in one oneness consciousness that everything we do affects others and we feel love for you know one another and um and you know we're, we're at the top of our game if you like spiritually and and things are going well in our life um so today we'll be working with the fifth dimensional chakras so um i invite everybody who wants to participate to just close your eyes and relax into your chair and just feel your feet connecting with the floor. Imagine that the small energy points or chakras in your feet are opening up and connecting with the earth below you. And it doesn't matter what floor you're on, just focus on the earth and its magnificence in supporting you. So your guardian angel is stepping close to you now. This angel has been with you all of your life and beyond, never judging you, 
and always whispering your highest potential and loving you unconditionally. See if you can feel that energy. You may be able to sense colors and your guardian angel might even like to tell you their name if you don't already know it. Just be open. We're going to call in Archangel Michael, and he's surrounding you in a beautiful deep blue light that reaches all around the outer edge of your aura, that energy that's around your body. And he helps you to feel very loved and safe. He also places this blue light, blue light in the room that you're in and the space around you helping you to release anything that doesn't serve you and allowing you to be fully present. You're now aware of your earth star chakra, which is about 12 inches below your feet. Archangel Gabriel steps forward and you feel his beautiful energy as he places shimmering silver light into your earth star chakra. Archangel Gabriel is now helping you to transform anything that needs it in your life so that you can activate this chakra at a higher level and expand your potential. You can now achieve things beyond your wildest imagination. Move your awareness up to your platinum base chakra, at the base of your spine, radiating down towards the earth. Archangel Gabriel pours pure white light into your base chakra to purify it now and this activates it at a higher level. Ask Archangel Gabriel to help you to release any limiting beliefs around money, your home, and manifesting your heart's desire. Know that you're loved and supported. You're now aware of your pink sacral chakra, about three inches below your navel and in the lower back. Archangel Gabriel brings in his pure white light to this center now to activate it at a higher level. So the sacral chakra is connected to our sexuality and our creativity. Accept healing and see your creativity start to flourish. Ask Archangel Gabriel to help you to release any limiting beliefs held in your sacral chakra that have been preventing you from expressing your true light. Now become aware of your orange navel chakra. Archangel Gabriel is filling this chakra with crystal light now, enabling you to connect to the vast energies of the universe, link into the higher dimensions and connect with the illumined souls who are guiding you. This is the beautiful oneness center, oneness consciousness. We are all connected 
not in competition, but all linked into a vast web of light. See yourself feeling happy about money and finances and lovingly intending this for all people. There's enough for everyone. Anchor this abundance consciousness now into your navel chakra. Take your attention to your golden solar plexus chakra at the base of your rib cage. Archangel Uriel steps forward and places a ball of sparkling rainbow lights into the solar plexus. This is your beautiful power center. Ask Archangel Uriel to cleanse and purify any energy that doesn't belong to you. If you are a sensitive soul, you may have taken on fears about money from others or limiting beliefs from the collective consciousness. Release these now and send out confidence to all beings of the universal abundance. Allow yourself to glow with the confidence of an enlightened being. Become aware of your shimmering white heart chakra at the center of your chest. Archangel Shamuel is stepping forward and starts to pour higher love from his heart into yours. Together, you move into the heart chakra to clear and heal it so that all 33 chambers can fully open and your heart expands. Lovingly release any disappointments or feelings of grief surrounding money. See if there's anything that you're ready to forgive now of yourself, anyone else, the universe or source. Archangel Shamuel is holding your hand and supports you fully. Feel how this lights up your heart. Take your attention to your electric royal blue throat chakra. Archangel Michael is stepping forward. Together you visit your throat chakra. Ask Archangel Michael to help you release any energy from the words you've spoken about money that no longer serve you. Ask him to guide your speech so that you speak the words of an enlightened being fully in abundance consciousness. It's easy for you to now learn new ways of speaking about money that fully supports your abundance consciousness. Know that you are now free to speak the truth of your soul with a pure heart. Archangel Michael now brings your awareness to your ear chakras. He brings his beautiful royal blue into these chakras now and helps you to release any words that you have heard that are not in alignment with abundance. See him removing the energy of these words now. He may also have a message for you that you hear in your mind about abundance through your ear chakras, or he may just place loving abundant energy there.
Take your awareness to your crystal clear third eye. Archangel Raphael is stepping forward. Together you move into your third eye and you observe him placing emerald green light into each of the 96 chambers of the third eye chakra. Ask him to clear out any old stuff, to cleanse and polish so that you can truly see and access all that you need. Now you can visualize that which you want to manifest easily for the highest good with the support of Archangel Raphael. Take your attention to your crystal clear crown chakra. Archangel Jophiel steps forward. Together you enter your crown chakra See him placing beautiful crystal yellow energy into your crown center, cleansing and lighting up the thousand petals until they begin to unfurl and glow with a golden light. Become aware that the petals of your crown chakra are linking you to the infinite loving abundance of the universe. Stop to take in just how vast this is. Become aware of your causal chakra, which is your gateway to the angelic realms. Notice where the causal chakra is for you just now. Is it just behind the head or is it right above the crown chakra? Archangel Christiel steps forward to work with you now. He places pure divine feminine energy, the color of shimmering silver moonlight into the causal chakra. And you may feel a tingling sensation as it lights up. Know that you have a profound connection to the spiritual realms and their loving support. Now take your awareness to your magenta soul star chakra, about 12 inches above your crown. Archangel Zadkiel steps forward together with Archangel Mariel. And together you move into your soul star chakra, which holds every single gift talent and spiritual achievement that has been gained during your soul's journey. Archangel Sadkiel brings the gold and silver violet flame into the soul star chakra, which brightens it so that it glows and pulsates with light. Archangel Mariel energizes the chakra with the most beautiful, vibrant magenta color. Open yourself up to the abundance of your soul's gifts and talents and any messages your soul star chakra has for you now. And finally, bring your attention to your golden stellar gateway about 24 inches above your head. The great Archangel Metatron steps forward and places a ball of golden orange light into the stellar gateway chakra. Ask him to help you clear and expand this center. You may notice that the chakra takes on a brighter hue and changes shape. Be open to having the highest level of support for your mission here on earth. Your chakras are now radiating in their fifth dimensional brilliance and they have expanded into a single column of chakras. 
Stay in this state for a few moments and feel oneness and connection with the infinite love and abundance of the universe. And when you're ready, pause the video if you need a bit longer. But when you're ready, ask the archangels to protect your energies, to keep your chakras open at a level which is comfortable for you. Bring your aura back a little bit if that feels necessary. You might notice that your aura feels expanded out quite wide. And just take a moment to express your gratitude to the angels. And just slowly start bringing your consciousness back into the room where you started, into your physical body. Become aware of your feet and ask your guardian angel to help ground you deeply. Feel your body in the chair and feel the content, the contact of your feet with the ground. Start moving slowly and when you're ready, have a stretch, open your eyes. If you have a glass of water, take a sip. <laughs> okay, that was very, very cool. <laughs> Ooh. All kinds of uh, cool sensations is that uh, it, it, the different stages. Um, Okay, it makes it very hard to uh, <laughs> think of what to <laughs> conduct an interview now. Um, <laughs> Just go for a little moment. nap and we'll talk later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I definitely look forward to going through that again. And um, I'm just thinking, oh, I got to share this with my family. <laughs> all gathered Please together. Do. Um, all right. Thank you, Susan. I'm a little... <laughs> <laughs> Trying to come back, and uh, so thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, You're so welcome. I, I hope everyone closed their eyes and, and took advantage of that, and again, repeat it, and uh, you know, go go through that again. Absolutely, I'd love to hear how people get on if they want to put anything in the comments. Um, yeah, see what they experienced, and just to make sure you're nice and grounded, it's safe. If that's your first time doing a visualization, anybody who's watching like that, maybe just, you know, make sure you drink water, you focus on your grounding, coming back into your body and asking your angel to help ground you as well. Sometimes stamping your feet or doing something physical, washing the dishes <laughs> or tidying the kitchen. <laughs> Great ways of grounding yourself during lockdown. <laughs> yeah. Connect with the angels, go do dishes. <laughs> Yeah. Achieve enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go gardening. <laughs> yeah. Or is it was there's there's a couple of lines. One is um, before enlightenment, do the laundry. After enlightenment, do the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna remember that now, Brad, when I'm yeah. doing the laundry. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh any any final thoughts you want to leave us with um so just ask you know don't be afraid to ask um your angel for help with anything i mean you know the most famous ones are the parking angels you know everybody's heard of the parking angels and they really work if anyone who's asked them they know that they work your angel doesn't mind helping you with anything at all no matter how so-called trivial it seems <laughs> Just ask them and they love to help and then let it go, you know, ask and release. <laughs> and then helping us remember where that parking space is. I need the GPS angel that says, no, your car's over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, th thank you, Susan. That what a what a wonderful experience. Um, thank you so much for taking us through that and, and for this information. And of course, folks, uh, you there's a link. Um, in the description box to uh, to take you to a, a page where you can find out more about Susan and her work and get her book and uh, really explore this and take advantage. 
hate that term, take advantage of, but, but, you know, make use of this, this resource. And uh, thank you, Brad, the, you know, the more, um, the more good you allow into your life as shown on the scale, the more good it brings to the world. So uh, do it. <laughs> thank you, Susan. My pleasure. Thanks so much for having me on the show. <laughs>